5.4, we're going to talk about impacts of agricultural practices, specifically how they relate to the nutrients in the soil and erosion. We're going to start by talking about tilling. So tilling is basically like fluffing up the soil. They overturn the top layer of the soil in order to break the roots of any competing vegetation, uh, as well as to aerate the soil um, just to make it a better condition for that, that growing crop. However, in, in doing this, because they make the soil looser, it makes that soil more vulnerable to erosion by wind or by water. And that can take away that uh, top layer of your topsoil um, where all the nutrients are. Slash and burn is a technique used to prepare an agricultural land. So we see a lot of this in South America in the rainforest. Uh, so slash and burn is what it sounds like. They clear cut an entire area of land and then they burn up that vegetation. So in so doing, they create this fine layer of ash. And this ash has all the nutrients from all the, that vegetation and makes this great soil, but not for long. It's only maybe a couple growing seasons that they can, um, they can get these nutrients out of and then it's uh, depleted and then they have to start over. Um, in another another area. There are a lot of issues with slash and burn, so much I couldn't even fit a picture in here. Uh, the fires release carbon dioxide, so carbon is being stored in these trees, and that's really important because greenhouse gases trap in more heat and then make our troposphere warmer. Uh, so when we do this, releasing even more carbon dioxide, uh, and contributing to that issue that we're already seeing with fossil fuel use. Deforestation also leads to habitat loss, um, and with habitat loss we see decrease the species biodiversity. Um, you're increasing erosion and land size because you've, you're clear cutting all this area, so you're taking away vegetation, um, you've all this debris. Uh, oh, anything that like is in that in that area can be washed off into the water nearby, create water contamination with sediment, nutrients, anything else that's in that area. And then I already talked about this one that it, it only lost for a little bit. We've already talked about use of fertilizers in a couple videos ago, or last video, lost track. Um, but I do want to expand on the difference between synthetic and organic fertilizers. So synthetic fertilizers are very direct. Um, it provides the exact nutrients that the plant needs in order to to grow or whatever. Whereas organic fertilizers are a little more complicated than that. Um, organic fertilizer, like for instance, compost or manure um, or green manure, which is like um, the use of like plants basically in order to feed the soil. Um, it treats the soil as like a, like the plants as part of the soil. Um, so as opposed to focusing on the plant, focusing on the soil, and if you're supporting the soil, it naturally is going to support the plant. All right, so to summarize those few agricultural practices, there are more, but I've broken them up into other videos.